All right, let's get into custom templates. So if you head over here to the Explorer and over to Templates, you probably are very familiar with the templates that are built by the Coda team. So we basically collected all the best practices for running tasks or managing teams or writing within Coda and codified those a few years back to give you all the structure. But what we heard is a lot of teams wanted to customize their own. So what you can do today is you can do just that. So what I'll do is I'll start with this basic task tracker that I actually built uh, many, many months ago. And even myself, I ended up customizing this a bunch of times for myself, but then always had to deal with some of the old design patterns that I had uh, built into the tool originally. So if I wanted to reuse this across many, many docs, this form of task management, uh, what I'll do is I'll customize this and show how to bring it to other docs. So on the add task, I thought it would be great to have a little pop-up. I actually don't like that in practice, so I'll get rid of that. All these examples are really fun and great, but I don't use them at all. I just like one line. Um, usually there's like notes or descriptions within here, so I like to have the, the note or the, the extra. Oftentimes I will uh, drop in subtasks in here as well, just like a lightweight uh, way to manage the, the little to-dos. A signee always comes along with a another person on it, so we can say something like a uh, stakeholder. I like that to be a person column as well. It'll allow multiple people to drop into that. So. All of us are stakeholders, there's an assignee. Status, I thought select list was common and lightweight, but what I actually do is I like to have my statuses as another table and then to customize this with its own colors. In progress, that's too formal, active makes more sense to me. Completed. And on hold, look cool with that language. Okay, so now that I have all the ways in which I've customized this, what I want to do is I'll call it the, the 2.0 version. Uh, I usually use this icon in it as well, and then we can put the uh, subtitle for what it is. Okay, and then I'm going to take this doc, that's live doc, and make it into a template. So I'm instead of going to create a copy of this, I've been building it just as is, so I'm going to take this doc and put it as a template. All right, we've just moved into the, the template space. So this is a task management list. I don't need anything these. Okay, it's still in draft mode and then I can publish it. I want to keep it just privately for myself because this is the way that I like to do things but not promote it to the rest of the workspace. And then I'm gonna allow at any moment to be able to use this template, whether it's creating a new doc or putting it into an existing doc that we're working on. Okay, so we just published this and I'll show you where it shows up now. So when I'm going to the home page, you'll see this showing up. This is just for myself, but if I publish it to the workspace, anyone can see it. I'm adding a new doc. I can see this pop up as well. If I wanted to get more information on it. It's just gonna be the, the same design as, as what I had was uploaded in the example. And lastly, if I were to create a brand new doc, or maybe I had an existing doc, I can pull it in. So 
So my task 2.0 is hanging out here. I can drag and drop. Cool. Everything is showing up nicely. Alternatively, I can click this little plus here and search. Task 2.0 is there as well. Backslash works as well. So if I were to do backslash and search task, I can then have this come automatically into my help. 